Welcome back. We are here on ETO looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, March 24, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at ETO where you can follow our trades and also copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we are trading underneath the 20 exponential. And these technical indicators, they are all very bearish at this current stage so we may well drop towards the 50 moving average that's what it looks like at this current stage so 50k and uh, that is most likely where we'll head to and where we'll find uh, the nearest major support if that breaks then we have the bottom of the bullish band here at the 48k and um, and yes if we go beyond that then we can drop significantly lower so it looks like the that momentum is kind of out of uh, of uh, bitcoin at this current stage the market has been really brutal today so especially commodities and precious metals have been hit significantly hard um, and uh, there has not been that massive movement in bitcoin uh, in bitcoin to the upside uh, for well basically two weeks now so we're actually just buying time here or we're going to see this drop significantly uh, lower. But that is to be seen. If you look at the, the second indicators, they are very bearish at this point. But we have seen these moves before where technically we just trade sideways and then we have these massive rallies to the upside. So let's look at uh, Ethereum. So very similar here to Ethereum, we also we are trading underneath the 50 moving average. We have tried to rally up towards the 50 and then broke uh, down again and that's not a really good sign if you don't manage to break the 50 moving average then it's basically it's acting as resistant in the moment and your momentum is basically to the downside technical indicators at this current stage are very bearish so we may break towards the bottom of the bullish band here at 15,067 uh, um, and uh, we may also break towards the 1500 for this cryptocurrency. If we manage to break above the 50 moving average, then we could head towards the top of the bullish band at 1918. However, technical indicators are looking dreadful for Ethereum at this current stage. So, yes, let's look at uh, Cardano. So, most of these charts look, basically are starting to look like look the same. So also here we try to rally above the 15, 20 exponential and then fail. And now we're trading underneath the 20 exponential. So we have done this before in this um, in this um, area here. We're also trading underneath the 20 exp exponential, but there's just not a lot of movement here. There's just not a lot of people buying and selling in these cryptocurrencies at this current stage. Technical indicators they are basically very negative at this current stage so we could see this drop towards the 50 around one dollar if we break below 50 then we could head all the way down to 0 0.75 and then to 0 0.5 so let's look at litecoin so also here it's looking really um negative for litecoin as well we don't have these massive moves to the downside but it's more like a gradual grind to the downside if this is basically build up to something bigger you know for a rally to the upside or the downside that is to be seen but uh, but there is the similar similarities for most of these cryptocurrencies is that there's just not a lot of volume at this current stage so technical indicators are looking dreadful for for Litecoin, we will most likely go and test the bottom of the bullish band at the, uh, at 170, but we could also drop towards 150 and all the way down to the 200 moving average at 110 at this current stage. So at the moment, 50 moving average is acting as resistant and not as support, and we have basically not been trading underneath the 50 moving average for a really long time. We have to go all the way down, all the way back here to October last year to see a trading a candlesticks that basically are trading underneath the 50 moving average. So that's a fairly big warning sign to be very honest. So we were also going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50. And we have not seen that basically all the way here in October when that occurred. So let's look at NEO. So also here, not a lot of momentum at all. We are basically right at the 20 exponential. Technically, they are all negative at this current stage. 
break below the 20 exponential, opens the door to the 50 at the $38, and then to the lower part of the bullish band at $36. Rally from here will most find the finds the resistance at $44. So let's look at Dash. Yes, so this continues to grind uh, lower, and but there's not a lot of um, of volume here, not a lot of uh, of movements, and neither the upside to the downside, but momentum is to the downside. Technical indicators there are very bearish, and we are getting very really close to the bottom of the bullish band. We're trading at uh, 203 at this current stage, so the the momentum that we saw here in the beginning of February that is basically long gone. It is just looking just a shadow of itself. It's more looking like pr what happened prior to these massive moves here. But uh, that is the um, uh, similarities for most of these cryptos. Some of them have been rallying today. Some were up 8% uh, and so on. But at this current stage, people are not uh, buying or selling cryptos at this uh, at this current moment. If that would change, that will be seen. But uh, momentum is to the downside for most of these cryptocurrencies. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at the e The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.